I found the most viral Minecraft build hacks and tricks on the entire internet and tested them to confirm they 100% work on all versions of Minecraft and are not just trash clickbait. Now I'm showing you how to easily build them. Watch until the end so you can impress your friends and make them go wow. Okay, what exactly are we building here? Those look like chairs, but what's that thing in the middle here, guys? Wait, I know what it is. It's an aquarium dining table. Now that is cool. Now, here's the thing with viral videos. They're usually really short and fast, making it very difficult to understand what in the world is actually being built. So I'm gonna slow it down and make it easy to understand so you can build it in your world. First up, our aquarium table is going to need these items here. You can pause the video now if you wanna build this. So let's get started. You wanna go ahead and build out a space that is one, two, three blocks tall, and one, two, three, four, five blocks long. And then you wanna bring this down one block deeper like so. As you guys can see here, we wanna coat the ground with sand and gravel. Next, we're going to fill up the space and turn it into a little bit of a swimming pool, except please do not swim in here. We will be eating above here in a minute. And we wanna decorate our little water pond here with sea pickles to add some light here. And then the rest of it, you can just use all your different beautiful colors of coral to really bring out the space. I'd also recommend using some seagrass and then mixing in some bone meal in order to get your tall seagrass like that. It really adds a lot of extra life into your aquarium table. Now, it wouldn't be an aquarium table without fish. So let's go ahead and grab our bucket of tropical fish and just chuck in a bunch of tropical fish in here. Oh, don't, don't do that. That didn't happen, guys. I promise you I know what I'm doing. Next, we don't exactly want to be eating on the water, so we're going to go ahead and cover up all of the water here with glass, just like so, and this is going to make the top of our table. Then with our dead horn coral fan here, guys, we're going to place one here, one to the right, leave a space, leave a space, one there, and one here, so you make a little bit of a square. And these are going to be our plates. Now we need some chairs to sit at. So in front of our plates, guys, we're going to place one quartz slab on each of these spaces, and then you want to go ahead and place a spruce trap door behind each of those slabs to make the back of our chair, and that already looks great, but we're gonna add a little bit of extra detail here, guys. Chuck some spruce trap doors on the sides of your aquarium table just to give it a little bit of sophistication. And then with your turtle legs here, guys, we're gonna place one, two, three on the left. We're gonna place a lantern in the middle. And then on the right, we're going to place our flower pot and our birch sapling. And voila, guys, you can eat your food while looking at the food. So what exactly do we have here? A bunch of levers. Oh, it's a grandfather clock. But when you set the time tonight, it actually rings the bell. That's so cool. Now, I've seen plenty of grandfather clock builds, but never one that works. So I understand why it went viral and it will definitely impress your friends. Plus, this is all the items you need. Barely anything at all. So let's go ahead and grab your observer. Where you want to place your grandfather clock, guys, we're going to place one observer facing downwards. So you got your little red light facing downwards and the arrow also down. Then go ahead and put a daylight sensor right above it there. And on the observer, we're going to place an item frame and a clock to actually, you know, tell the time. <laughs> then we're going to hang a bell from underneath the observer like so. When the time of night changes, this will send a redstone signal through here, ringing the bell just like we want. Then we're going to put a dark oak slab here. And you want to jump around to the left side here, guys. And we're going to crouch and we're going to place one, two, three dark oak trap doors here, guys. And activate each of those. Come around to the right hand side, and you again, you wanna go ahead and crouch and place a one, two, three dark oak trap doors. Activate each of those. Then we're gonna jump around to the back side here, guys, and you wanna crouch and place one, two, just on the back here. Now, you would think that we're done and this should work if we go ahead and set the time to night here. As you can see, the bell is going to ring, and that's good, but these trap doors went blah, 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 which is not quite what we want. So, what you wanna do is jump around to the back here, guys, and we're gonna place one, two, three, four levers, and you wanna activate each of these. This means that even when a redstone signal is output, these trapdoors are not going to go out of place. So now if we set the time back to day, as you can see, the bell rings, but our trapdoors do not move. Pretty cool, if you ask me. So uh, what exactly are we building? Oh my gosh, that is a lot of fire charges. Uh, what exactly are we blowing up today? So we put a lever at the back and then what? <laughs> that is so awesome. It's a rapid fire fire cannon. Now they didn't show us the redstone. Luckily, I'm gonna show you. And here are all the items you're going to need. It's actually really, really simple. You wanna dig out of the ground. One, two, three blocks like so. Place a redstone dust in the center and a sticky piston on the left and right hand sides of it. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab your quartz stairs and you wanna cover up that redstone dust. You wanna come around to the other side and place one facing this way and do the same thing on the other side of your quartz stairs. So both of the arrows are facing back like so. Then grab your block of quartz here, guys. And we're going to place one, two like so just in front 
front of both of our observers and then place two more observers, this time facing in the opposite direction, in the direction that you want to fire your fire charges like so. Then in front of each of these, we're going to place one dispenser and fill up these dispensers with your beautiful fire charges. Now it's as simple as grabbing your lever, chucking it in front of this quartz stair, hitting the button, and boom, check it out, guys, we got ourselves a rapid fire fire cannon, which is causing a lot of damage, we don't want to set fire to the set, oh no, this video is going to turn it off, <laughs> this is just the fire that hit the ground, this thing is dangerous, now what in the world are those, some sort of weird black thing on top of armor stands, maybe, oh guys, they're armor stands wearing dragon heads, but why, what for, what exactly is this, uh, flower pop. Oh, it's a popping app TV! Just like the clock, there are tons of TV builds out there, but I've never seen one that actually pops out of the wall and hangs on it, making it super realistic and would definitely impress any of my friends. And here are all the items you are going to need. And trust me, you're going to be thanking me for showing you how to do this because it was really tricky to figure out. You want to go ahead, come up to your wall and dig it out like so. Then we're going to place down our top snow. One, two, three, four, five, six layers and do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six layers. Now, we're going to jump around to the other side here guys the side you don't want your tv to be facing and replace down one two of your terracotta then grab your armor stand here guys i'm gonna place one armor stand like so and place a cobblestone wall to the left then grab a piston here guys facing towards your armor stand and you want to go ahead crouch click on your armor stand putting him in the straight position and activate the piston so it pushes the armor stand into this block here then we're going to go ahead and you want to build two blocks above where your armor stands are here guys and place one two more armor stands and go ahead and crouch and click on both of them to put them in the second Second standing position and then go ahead and break both of those blocks so they fall down then we're gonna go ahead and you want to place a dragon head on each of the armor stands like so here's the tricky bit what you want to do guys is you want to build up and place two terracotta blocks just in front of these armor stands here then we're gonna jump around to the other side you guys and you want to block off this wall just temporarily for the time being then we're going to grab our pistons here guys and you want to build up a double piston system on both sides here to push these blocks into the armor stand go ahead and activate those first pistons there and activate the second pistons like so. Now we can go ahead and destroy out this entire back like so, and you can just leave it the way it is. Now, we're gonna go ahead, destroy the front here, guys. You wanna place two white concrete blocks just above where your dragon heads are facing, and place two pistons facing downwards, and activate each of those, pushing them into your dragon heads. Now, we're almost down, guys. You can repair the rest of your wall, and finally, you're going to grab out your quartz slab and your other little decorative items here, just like so. We're gonna place one quartz block on the left, one smooth quartz on the right, and with your quartz slabs, we'll place those in the middle. Place a flower pot over here, a red shulip, and a button on the right to look just like a TV remote. And voila, you got yourself a hanging flat screen TV that actually pops out, making it super realistic. Oh my gosh, those are a lot of pistons. Why do we need those exactly? And hoppers. Oh, I see what's going on. We got a cute little parrot display, guys. Want to show off your cute parrots? Well, these are all the items you are going to need. Let's get started. This is really easy, guys. You want to build iron trapdoors going diagonally, but make sure you place them on the top half of each block like so. Not on the bottom of this block here. You want to place them on the top half. Then we're going to place one coming to the left on the top half here and one on the top half looking like that. Then we want to go ahead and put a parrot on each of these and tame them. Sit. Okay, we kind of got... Okay, we're just going to push them. Push it. This is the hardest bit, guys. You got to tame your parrots before they fly away using your seeds. Don't fly away, please. Can you just... Can you... Yep, come down. No. Nope. I am going to have to say goodbye-bye to you. And bam! Guys, please don't report me. This is a PG channel. Just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, quick. Seeds in it. In it. Don't, don't. Come on, this is the hardest bit, guys. You want to tame your parrots. Bo -bo 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 there we go. Okay, we got three. And then above each of these parrots, guys, we're going to place one, two, three glass blocks. And then you want to place pistons facing it downwards on each of these glass blocks. So one, you need one here. And then you're going to need one here so it looks just like this. Then activate each of those pistons, guys. Black, bang, boom. And that is going to display your parrots inside the glass blocks. Now, you could leave it just like this. But if you want it to actually look like it's hanging, we're going to place hoppers across the roof here, guys. And then you want to have chains that are coming down from underneath your hoppers connecting up to your glass blocks. And voila, you got yourself a very cute hanging parrot display. Uh, what is this? An other stand? And army? I'm very confused, guys. We activate the back pistons here. And what exactly am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, that's so cool, guys. It's like a sword rack of some kind. And, I mean, you don't just have to use swords. You can use pickaxes. You can use axes, shovels. Oh, my goodness. But that looks quite complex to build. So, uh, 
Let's give it a good old go. And luckily for us, this is all the items you guys need. Like, literally. Barely anything. Well, excluding all the different swords you want to display. So, first off, guys, you want to go ahead and place down your oak wood stairs facing upside down like this and build a row of these going one, two, three, four, five blocks long like so. Then behind each of these oak wood stairs, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five armor stands. We're going to go ahead and crouch and click on the armor stand seven times each. So, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, putting them in this seven position like so. I'm going to do this with all of our armor stands here, guys. Now you can give these armor stands whichever tools you wish. We're going to give them all iron swords just for these guys, but you can literally give them anything at all. Then we're going to come around to the back here, guys, and you're going to place down your oak wood stairs going one, two, three, four, five blocks facing forwards. And above these guys, you want to place down some oak wood stairs facing backwards, upside down like this, and go one, two, three, four, five like so. So you've got this S little pattern going on. Then we're going to go ahead, guys, and behind these, you want to place down two pistons that face forward like so into our blocks here and you want to build these all the way across so you've got something that looks like this on the back then we're going to activate all of the bottom pistons and then all of the top pistons like so and you can destroy all the pistons and all of your redstone blocks just like that and voila guys you got yourself your armor rack except we want to add a little bit of deco so let's come around to the side you guys you want to crouch place one two three four uh spruce trap doors like so and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the right hand side one two three four and then you of course guys you can go ahead and put these all across the back as well just for you know a little bit of extra detail and voila you've got yourself a sword rack which if you go ahead and just grab out any random sword you can go ahead and swap it out with the iron sword just like that. Really easy and a great way to show off just how many swords you have. Uh, if you guys don't mind me asking, what in the world is being built here exactly? We've got pistons and grass blocks and end rods and ah, oh, it's a cauldron being held up by armor stands like a stew pot or something. Stew pot, witch's pot, whatever you want to call it, these are the items you're going to need to build it. First off, place down your campfire and your cobblestone slab in front of it. Then stand in the campfire, don't mind the fire safety risk. And then place an armor stand facing inwards on the left and one on the right like so. Then go ahead and crouch and you want to click on the armor stand, putting him in the fifth position. One, two, three, four, five. So his hands face out like this. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Then go ahead, guys, and you want to build up here in the center of your campfire. And we're going to place cobblestone stairs and you want them to be facing inwards like so. So just like that. I'm going to place each of these above uh, your armor stand. So like that. Now we can destroy the cobblestone on the side. So you guys, we're going to build up one block and you want to place an end rod coming out of that center cobblestone block like so. Now we're going to grab our pistons here guys and you want to build a double piston system. So two pistons facing downwards over your end rod and your stair. Do the same thing on the right side here guys. Go one and two blocks down. Activate the top pistons then activate the second lot of pistons and now we're going to go ahead and destroy all of this cobblestone and scaffolding. Then we're just going to go ahead and place a cauldron just above your campfire, fill it up with some water, and voila, you got yourself a stew pot held together by some armor stands. I think that's a really great addition for any outdoor build. Here's how to build a creeper anxiety machine. A creeper build a little anxiety walled -in machine? Area, two what blocks tall, with a block inside, another uh -huh. block for the roof. Then place a trap door. Then break what the inside exactly glass block. What exactly is being built? What is a creeper anxiety machine, guys? Followed by a sticky piston okay. facing sideways. And then we then need six some blocks and glass and, and three pieces of redstone coming around the back. And then three fully ticked repeaters. And finally, the last piece of redstone dust. And a redstone block on the empty area behind the and redstone. And what exactly does this do? Then a creeper. Oh and you think goodness, social guys. anxiety is stressful. So the creeper doesn't explode. Is this real? Now I tested this before, but part of me still feels like this is clickbait and the creeper's going to explode on me, but we'll give it another shot here, guys. And here are all the items you're going to need. So let's get started. First off, he said, let's build a little cage here made out of glass, fill it up like so. We need an iron trapdoor here on the front and destroy that inside glass. Then we're going to build an observer facing outwards from here and a sticky piston that faces backwards just like so. Then we're gonna place glass that comes out in an L shape, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so it wraps all the way around creating a little bit of a rectangle you guys can see that from the top view then we're going to need to grab our redstone dust and we're going to come from this corner and place one two three then we're going to grab our white concrete we're going to place one in this corner one in this corner and with our redstone repeaters we're going to place one here and put it on full ticks and then here and here all on full ticks and then one piece of redstone dust just on that corner there and all we're going to need now is our redstone block here and look at that guys little redstone system that opens and closes this iron trap door now the question is guys is will it stop the creeper from exploding so let's go ahead spawn our creeper just inside of there now let's give this a go here guys i'm gonna switch into survival mode stand here it's working guys the creeper's not exploding oh no it's gonna split oh, that causes me so much anxiety guys i 100 understand why this 
for free food. Okay, I did. I can't. I can't even stand away from that, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for our next film, you're actually going to have to subscribe and watch the next video because that's all the time we've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and until next time, anyways, you're out. Bye.